growth does not have an age limit. It does not have an age limit. You can grow while you're 20. You can grow at 50. You can grow. I told you of a lady, I don't know if I said it here, a lady who was 65 and she had left employment and retired, but she had not found herself. Because every day she went to, do, to work to do paperwork. It was a government job. Did paperwork, pushed paperwork, Coca-Cola offices, was money, how they be, and everything. Sometimes you retire and get on a bikutama. And she didn't know what to do. And yet inside of her, there was a call to mentor girls because she had been married off when she was younger and she suffered through her multiple marriages and she just didn't know why she went through that process but she really wanted to help and at 65 she found her purpose and let me tell you she left no stone unturned like every chance she would get to speak to someone about workplace drama about you know growth about what she would take the opportunity and i saw this woman becoming younger at 65 she was becoming younger because her eyes were radiating. You know, like how you found a new love. Eh? And you wake up every day with a purpose. Because she had told me she was dying, literally dying. She would wake up. They tell her to go exercise. Like she had lost hope and she had given up. And thought, you know what, this is my age. I think it's time for me to. And you know, it's in the mindset. Eh? The moment you retire... It's in the mindset. That's why they say people who retire do not survive after four years. Most of them. And that is 87% do not survive past four years. Why do you think it happens? They retire in the mind. That's why I, tell, I usually tell the people helpers, the destiny helpers, the coaches, the mentors, the people that are in personal development, that guess what? Your career becomes sweeter as you grow older. Because then you have more credibility, you have more experience, and people come to you more. Because we we walaba. So uh, today, as we go, we are not going to take any more contributions because we've all gone through the relationships. But I'm so happy to see you here. I'm so happy to grow with people that are ambitious, people that want to increase their productivity, and people that want to see results. And I believe that's the sole reason as to why you're here. I really felt, number one, uh, something that we're going to talk about as we're about to even serve. So we will serve the tea while we go ahead and talk. We are going to have this challenge. We did uh, we did vision uh, boards last week, okay? And how many of us did vision boards? Okay. How many of us have our vision boards in our mind? <laughs> uh -huh. Some people have them in their minds. You picture a, a nice body, and then you picture a nice house, and then you picture that nice dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want us to get down to business because dreaming alone will never get you to your dreams. Okay? Dreaming big without with small actions also never gets you never gets you to the big dreams. So that means you have to get to the business of action and implementation. And in on the implementation, I wanted us to talk, to go through the 10 character traits of self-made millionaires or people that are successful, okay? The reason as to why I call it self-made, let me tell you a secret. Your job is not going to make you a millionaire. Wanji, I want us to be very clear about that. Your job. Guess what? I'm an employer, and then I'm an employee. And then I am self-employed, and then I have businesses. I fall in all categories. But your employment will never make you the millionaire that you dream to be. That means if you want to be a millionaire, you have to be self-made. You have to dream outside the box. Your value has to be bigger. You have to find, where do I fit in this world? What can I manipulate? What can I sell? Because everything is a transaction. So people can pull money out of their pockets and give it to me willingly. And then if I sell poor quality, I, get, I attract poor quality money. So that means my goods and my services have to be high, high quality. They have to be premium. 
so that I can attract premium clients and premium money. I know money can never solve all our problems, but money is the engine of life. Okay? It makes life better. It makes life... Bali wa kuchaye kuonga tolina senti. Wanji? Oh! Baga mboga kawa woga kumba. Nga baku chaye mlunji nga tolina senti. Noru tikolu yinzo kwe mera. As in, you can even want to die. You will want the, this will to just swallow you. Or someone rejects you. And you don't have money. When someone rejects you and you have money, you have money. Off to the next one. <laughs> you know, there is a way in your heart, like, olimugumu, in one, in one arena of life. Even when you're shaken in a different arena of life, because then you're like, O moon to si sobola mu controlling, a person will decide to love you or hate you anytime that they want. Let me tell you, someone can love you for 20 years and all of a sudden, in a snap of a finger, something changes about them. And then the story begins of Yachuka. And it applies to both sides. Because I talk to men and women daily. And you, you don't know what men are facing in this country. They don't speak. Abakazi tuogeda, tukava, netukubebi wowe, netusinde vigede, netu... Banange, social media, everything. Ate tuwaiga quotes and motivational quotes. And self-love. Oh, those ones, they speak louder for us. Negweba chayo mumanyira ku status. God created me alone. I don't mind being alone. It's okay. I will bounce back. <laughs> then you're like, Baba, I'm Kozechi. Baba, I'm Kozechi. And let me tell you, O Kuchawa Sikubi, Kuli no more. Wanji, Kuli no more. You cannot control a human being, but guess what? You can control how much money you earn. You can control how much you. You can control where you go for vacations. You can control what car you drive. You can control. And it's a matter of time. It might not come right now. But eventually, the daily habits that you, you create. Number one, get educated. Get a mentor. Get a coach. Research. Read books. Be a lover of information. okumanya. The moment you lock yourself, and let me tell you, the problems have a way of locking us up in a place where we don't want to know. Hmm? So when you see a motivational speaker, wasting their time. When you see a preacher, oh boy, yeah, you get a bitch. When you see anyone that wants to bring more information, there is a way when something bad happens to us, the whole world is painted bad. But guess what? There's, there is so much good in this world. And then I want to also tell you, which I, already, I know you already know. Even the people that hate us, that all the people that don't like us, they contribute a lot towards our success. They give you the determination of, I will prove you wrong. I am coming back. Wait for me. You know? So that alone is a reason. So get educated. Anything that can add knowledge to you, it could be in your own industry. And this is where I say limit your intake of things that do not build you. Social media is good, but social media can be bad. You can watch TikToks from morning till evening of dancing people, but tell me what will have added on your mind. What? Apart from di seeing different strokes, but again, you can't even dance them. Wanji? <laughs> and then you see nice couples all oh, dancing so well, and their uniform dances, and then you, you watch. And then let me tell you, these people know that the consumption, the human consumption, eh? So they will suggest one after another. Suggest. The moment you start seeing dancing couples, you will watch dancing couples the whole day. The moment you start seeing nice houses, you will watch nice houses the whole day. And then they will have all those songs. Eh? Like which one? Wanji? Checho. See, one, two, three, auntie. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, you people. 
And then you will see people smiling. I do ta ta I'm at, at, at the airport and you're like eh nange rumunja kubera yo. It's good to dream but get educated. Okay? Find what interests you. Find your passion. What are you passionate about? The world is shifting. It's no longer a world of going. Uh, you know, even our, some people do swaswa and they end up somewhere else. Eh? The world changed. <laughs> people get jobs before applying. The world changed. So if you're stuck in the old way of the, world, the, oper, of, of the world operating, mama, we left you long time ago. Okay? So even when God has been merciful to you that you currently have a business that you're running that maybe you're not so passionate about, okay? That means at some point you're feeling tired, at some point you're feeling like giving up, at some point you're just doing it for the money. But that means you have to find something that even if there was no money in the picture, I can be able to do it. Okay? And I will do it well. And I can outdo some people. And guess what? The world needs that service. And the world can pay for it. Four things. You find your purpose. You find something that you love doing. You love so much. Number two. Something that you can do so well. Okay? Definitely you'll need mentoring, you'll need training, you'll need more information, but something that you know you can do well. Even other people have told you, maybe you do well. Okay? Number three, the world needs it. Okay? Now that is not enough, because the world needing it, we need dancers, we need... But even dancing these days is a career. Okay? But the world has to need it. And number three, the world has to be willing to pay for it. There is no way People who sell Ngoe Zabana, they get me all the time. Have you ever seen those people who post things on Instagram? And then they have like 70, 27 pictures. And let me tell you, even if I am busy, I will go through the 27 pictures. And guess what? Kuliko trolleys, kuliko, uh, now for us who have young kids, kuliko, you know, uh, wa, wa, <laughs> walkers, kuliko, bichi. And we never get tired. But guess what? If I can get someone who can make a good relationship with me. How I bought, uh, how I shopped for my baby, the one that I have right now, I have never, no, for any of my babies, I've never gone to any shop to actually shop. But definitely when people see me or they see you on TV or pregnant, then they're like, at again, they come up DM ya bahati, so they slide in my DM. Like seriously, when they slide in my DM and they have a good uh, like language, they're not kind of salesy or what angula There are these things, I don't know if you would if you'd be interested, but I can find you in the comfort of your office. Guess what? I give them the list of the things that I want and I and they bring to my office and I don't have to go anywhere. They've created a relationship with me that even one that I bought from two years ago, if I have another child, she's the person I will run to. She has created a relationship with me. So we talked about relationships in the, in the round tables. And it's so important to create relationships, not just romantic relationships, but even relationships with people, okay? So get educated. Find where, what you want. That thing that your heart leans to every time. You want it. You see people, you want, you're like, find out what they do and purpose to teach yourself and be able to get this information. Number two. I know this one, we don't like it, but let me tell you, and none of us likes it, not even me, but I do it by force. Exercise. Let me tell you. Bananga tolinda, tolinda mpaka nge miaka jigenze. Tandi kakati. Tolinda mpaka ngo mgongo kukutusi. Tandi kakati. Wanji, let me tell you, um, science proves and doctors prove and i think i talked about about it uh, sometime maybe during the coach experience that exercise stabilizes your hormones as a woman so it takes away the stress and then it brings in the happiness hormones when you whenever you're happy you can think better you can plan better you can have better relationships and you engage in the world as a better person okay so exercise does not have to you don't have to go to gym I know some of us think it's about going. No, you don't have to go to gym. Skip a rope in your bedroom. Skip a rope in your sitting room. Do something that can make you sweat. That can move the whole body. 
If you, you, you are the luxurious one, go for swimming, go for gym, go for what? But let me tell you, none of those things worked for me. Uh -uh, they didn't. And because I have children at home and I want to spend more time with them, I was like, I will exercise with my children. So instead of watching YouTube videos of people exercising and I'm thinking I'm also exercising. <laughs> hey, you've seen those people. My friend, <laughs> You're busy eating on something. Well, the, and then you feel like you've lost like 10 kilos all of a sudden. I even don't know. But this is what happens. I mean, I get, I downloaded. I actually told my husband to tell his gym instructor uh, to, to give him some of those aerobics things and what. And so I got a drive, I put it in my TV, and then I dress up, but I made sure I use also boat gear for my Ariela and Ariel. So while I'm doing my dumbbells, while I'm doing my exercise, they're also jumping, jumping, and they like it because every time they remind, mommy, exercise, mommy, exercise. So they say, mommy, my clothes, they even go and put on their clothes before me. And I'm like, no, I can't disappoint them. But exercise does a lot, okay, to move your body. You might not like it, but let me tell you, 20 years from, no, five years from now, you will come back and tell me, Bahati, you were very right. Some of these things, I've, I mean, these things I've done in my own life, okay? What I'm telling you, and they have worked for me. They have worked for me, okay? Number three, build relationships. We talked about that. I'm not going, because it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you, okay? And what they can talk about you. getting suppliers, people, let me tell you, people are operating businesses in this town without a single coin. You can, can you believe that? Without a single coin, but they are operating businesses. And guess what? They go back home with millions of money by being knowledgeable and creating relationships, being strategic. Oyagalachino, manyije chidi. Nagena nakuba deal nori. Mugamantinze manyachagala. Some people have given me things not because they have a shop somewhere, but they're like and let me tell you people they've started even paying for ads on social media. And they went and took them somewhere. They create ads on social media. Guess what? People come to their inboxes because now Facebook ads, Instagram ads, they come straight to your WhatsApp. And so someone says, how much is this? You just have to have time to collaborate with people, create better relationships. So you already have your messages. So it's generic. Before you know it, you have orders that are more than three millions. You go downtown, akuwa best price go As in Okay, thinking outside the box. Don't wait. Hmm? So that thing of I'm waiting for capital. No, there is something that Coach Majo did about starting a business without money on, on your YouTube channel. So you can go to Coach Majorin's channel and even watch starting businesses without without money. There is so many uh, things that you can do, but relationships is one of them. Your network is your net worth. Okay? Hey. And be obsessed with the process. Some of us, we want the end result. Okay? The, 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 the result, which is either the money or the profit, whatever it is. I've told you I've done. I've done it all. I was once a shop attendant. Hmm? I have, I have done everything. When you see me where I am, but what does that TikTok say or that reel? When you see me happy, please leave me alone. Eh? Leave me alone. I'm the one who knows where, where I have been. Okay, But to get to where I am, I believe growth is a process. And guess what? Today I was telling uh, Coach Millie, I was telling her that if you told me, what would we take out of your life? I would tell them, take out all the happy moments, but leave all the bad moments. Please leave all the bad moments. Because it's through the bad moments that I've wanted to grow. 
It's through the bad moments that have looked for a way out. It's through the tears that have wanted to be happy. It's through the bad home, uh, home experience with my parents that I wanted to create a better marriage. So it's through everything bad that I have been through that it has panelled uh, 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 me and shaped me to be who I am. So you can take me all the good, good experiences because we don't grow in our comfort zones. We have to step outside of our comfort zone in order to grow. Someone bring, where is my weighing scale? Hey, I want it here, my friend. These things, weight has to be lost. We have to achieve these things. <laughs> Please run, okay? Master your time. Uh, if you want to, uh, to, 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 uh, to, to, to be anywhere in life, master your time. Don't have any redundancy. Don't have any redundancy. I was talking to a certain lady, uh, I think must be three days ago, and so she told me, you know, Kakati, a uh, program yange tamblida ku boyfriend wange. Kati, eh, well, and let me tell you, there are so many of you are saying, ha, nenga na mwewe muri. Because when they say jump, you jump, you say how high, <laughs> you ask how high. So, you know, umami wangi kati, buwaba tasobo de kunde takatinga mwebi, ebi intu mba sobo la kuja. Buwaba, like all the good things that she's supposed to go to if she is not taken or she is not, you know, buwaba tabidi imu, na ye tabidi imu. So, buwaba mba tugende la nchine, tumala ye sawa, nga tano, nga mga ugude, tukutu haliriza kawo, kwe gama nga, so uh, I looked at her. Definitely, I didn't tell her anything. I am not the, the deliverer of bad news. Sometimes I also want to be good. Hilda, I have been bad all the days of my life. Like I'm the one who warns people about danger. I am the one who tells them to be serious. So some of these days I chill and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to warn you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to warn you, but you're not on a, on a good road. Because some people are not warnable. When you warn some people, you get problems. Because then they are like, ah, take a chance to see the relationship young and gamba. Ah, Kwagal is a relationship yo. But she wants to call it, it's okay, and it's a chin call it. I have to be on the road. It's border borders that I stop taking. But right now, even if I have to, and I don't like driving into town, so I will take an Uber to town because I don't like looking for parking. But I can't parking in town. Oh my God, I hate parking with all my life. So yesterday I was thinking, I wish there's a person who has a problem like mine so that they can create a very nice Benz that is a blue take, but it's small like a Vitz. Okay? So that we don't have problems of parking. <laughs> <laughs> when you drive a big car, then you start getting problems of because then you're like, but when I get a more underground zone town in Jajikalabula because of good of tono, oh, it's our tono. I'm like, you know what? Let me Uber, let me let me take an Uber. You get it. So, I want you to be able to master your time, control your time. What do you do in the morning? Have a morning routine. Have an evening routine of some sorts. Be your own accountability partner. Sit down with yourself. Have a meeting with yourself and say, What have we achieved this week? You know, I told you about the habits. Okay. How many of you are joining me for the, for the weight loss challenge? Weight loss challenge? So Weight loss challenge. These things have to be done. Is it, does it work constantly, like immediately? We don't want those things of You all have to be my witnesses. I am 150 kilos. Come check. You all have to be my witnesses. I am 150 kilos. Come check. You all have to be my witnesses. 105. Who is joining me for the challenge? Where is Coach Fifi? Please write, write kilograms. We have to celebrate. Yes, please. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I have to remove that shoe.